All right, guys, take a look on my concrete right there. Yeah, I've been getting this for the last couple weeks, small drips. And I kind of uh, trying to fix all my leaks before uh, summertime here. And uh, as you can see, I'm cooling right there. In one of my previous videos, I fixed my oil leaks. So let me show you. Couldn't figure out where it was coming from. If it was coming from the radiator or where it was at, but there it is, my water pump. See the little hole in the back there? That's the front seal. So I'm actually glad I bought a lifetime warranty water pump because uh, <laughs> they don't realize that I keep I keep this car, but this car for over 20 years. So yeah, if you can, usually I, I like to buy the, the lifetime guarantee stuff just because, like I said, it's, I know I'm gonna have this car forever. So. Unless I wreck it, but all right, cool. All right, so cleaning the engine definitely helps diagnosing leaks, but uh, that's a water pump right there. I got to take off, and uh, not too difficult. Well, kind of a nightmare because I got to take all this stuff off too. But this side, this pulleys, and uh, should be able to get off pretty fast, I guess. All right, pick this up. Bailey was actually under warranty. So it was 40 bucks, lifetime warranty. Came with a gasket, so cool. All I had to do was get new coolant, but um, this is actually a reverse rotation pump. So you know there's the inlets on this side. So it, the original Bronco was the, on the other side, standard rotation, which came out this way. So I did the serpentine conversion. Uh, same as like the you know, standard, like newer uh, 80s map 5.0. All right, so I'm gonna paint this thing and uh, yeah, because anything down here at the beach will like either rust or corrode in like uh, two seconds. So put some paint on this thing and uh, get it going. Cool. All right, draining the water here. You can hear. So the cool thing is, when I actually bought this Ford, it gave me a lot more room to work. So I also have an electric fan, so I don't have to take off the fan shroud and the fan. So that makes it a lot easier. I'm going to take this whole thing off right here, this little bracket for the uh, power steering pump, and get that out of the way. Um, yeah, so just a couple bolts here and that's it. So I got this out of the way. Um, the straps here, the uh, power steering and the uh, idler bracket here. Kind of dirty, they might clean that up a little while I'm down there. But all right, there it is, I gotta take the bolts off and that's it. All right, water pump's off. Gotta clean up this gasket material and put it back on. All right, I'm gonna replace this with as much, as much stainless as I can right here, so. Um, yeah, I can't stand uh, rust. But uh, yeah, I originally got these off the original, like uh, I think it was like a 351 van. That's where I got the serpentine conversion from. So, all right, 20 bucks. All right, so any place with water, I always go back and I put uh, silicone on there just because I've actually had a leak here before between these gaskets. So, uh, around here, any place with actually it's gonna have water on it. And, this whole inside is actually going to have water on it, so i going to make sure I get that nice and sealed. Alright, like I said, any place that's going to have water on it, put some sealant on there. All these long bolts, I always put a layer of grease on them, just because they get rusty in there for some reason, so I'm sure i got to put a wash on that thing, but you get the idea. So I did the same thing with this one here, so hopefully that will prevent the rust from coming back. Alright, don't go crazy on the torque. Uh, on these ones right here, that's aluminum right there. And these, these four are, they go into the steel block, all the way to the water passage, all the way back. So, got all stainless steel on there, except for this one, because I need to actually have that mount there, so. But I did put lots of grease on there, so. All right, so if you guys are wondering about this plug thing right here, I actually used to use those rubber plugs, the ones you buy at like the auto, auto parts store, and uh, they don't always dry and crack and leak fluid, so. A few times that's happened before in the past. Like I said, I've had this sink for over 20 years, so. Dealt with a lot of different issues. So yeah, this is always my most reliable solution is to have a piece of hose cut and uh, like one of those uh, plugs in there. So, all right, that's it. So it took me about two hours, but if I was probably moving fast, I could have, could have done it about an hour. But uh, I don't even use the expensive coolant anymore just because I open this thing up all the time. So we have some kind of problem, leak or whatever, you know, so I just get the cheap O'Reilly brand now, 50-50. Don't even bother trying to mix it. Alright, cool. Awesome. Back in business, hopefully.